Today for the chat trap, we have the man behind Atre and Associates, Mr. Arun Sharma. Mr. Arun Sharma have been into architectural space for more than two decades across retail, corporate, residential and hospitality space. Arun believe art is spiritual and there is a close relationship between art, architecture and God. And that's the philosophy he brings into his work. And that's the secret behind his amazing masterpieces. Arun spends time familiarizing to his mandate and bringing reality to his creations. Needless to say, he is the winner of numerous awards and much recognized amongst his peers and everybody. Warm welcome to you, Arun. Thank How you are so you much. feeling today? I'm feeling great and thank you so much for getting me here. Well, I'm so looking forward to ask you interesting questions now. Yeah. And I think we should just begin with. Yes. So how did you think of keeping the name Atre and Associates of your studio? Uh, we have two reasons behind that. Like Atre basically is our gotra. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Atre, like there are seven rishis. Like uh, out of that, one of them is Atre Rishi. So it's a, one of the reasons uh, of because where gotra is Atre. And secondly, the meaning of Atre is uh, humanitarian and generous to your time. So uh, we actually uh, give value to the uh, giving nature and uh, uh, the kindness of the of we human uh, what we possess and also we give uh, importance to the time which is very very uh, like utmost uh, priority for the client as well as for the project if not being an architecture which profession would you choose and why if not an architect i would definitely choose to be an artist mm -hmm. uh, to create art taking inspiration from nature so you're very, very connected to nature, right? You're a nature lover. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm uh, like very much into it. Uh, and uh, I really want to uh, uh, have the nature around. In my projects also, you can see lots of sunlight, lots of natural from nature. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Like so I wanted to ask you, what was your first project? And you have any fond memories? Would you like to share something with us about your first project? Yeah, we did uh, uh, one project in Shimla way back in 2000. So we did one hotel in uh, Shimla. The name was uh, name is Ashana Regency. So uh, that was our first project, and and at that time also we made sure to be uh, you know to make it unique and use of natural elements like stone, wood and giving the big fenestration to have the panoramic view of the nature and to uh, get the outside in. Any mantra of success you follow or you just go with the flow? Yeah, mantra of uh, my mantra of success is uh, look, being unique and at the same time being timeless. Arun, since you've mentioned that you're a nature lover and I'm sure you drive a lot of inspiration coming up from natural beauty, you, right. what you see in surroundings. So now I wanted to talk about your projects. Well, talking about your project, I think Glass Lounge and Deva yes, most talked yes. about. So tell us about your project Glass Lounge and in terms of geographical locations of surroundings. This Glass Lounge is uh, in the outskirts of Delhi. So it's a part of the farmhouse and also uh, like this and project has been surrounded by the belt of the farmhouses. Mm -hmm. Client requirement was to have a covered sitting area right. amid a green landscape. And also he wanted to have a 360 degree panoramic view without any hindrance. Wow. So what we did, we just created a structure which is being supported only on two pillars of metal, six inches dia. Oh. And there was a thin membrane of glass, mm -hmm. which is like uh, just a, uh, to have the interior of the, uh, like, uh, the structure to be more comfortable because of the air conditioning. And uh, in this case, you can have the like uh, all the view around and there's no hindrance there. Beautiful. It's itself a masterpiece, isn't it? Okay, so what is the purpose of designing a complete glass structure in such an open space and why you have fixed a corner space for your structure? Yeah, we, we chose to have it in the corners too because we don't want to uh, break the continuity of the green space there. Mm -hmm. And also, I don't want the structure to be an obstacle. Uh, in that vista. What happens in summer? In summer, what about heat insulation? Yeah, very good question. Uh, what we did is we used the, uh, heat insulated glasses, mm -hmm. and also with the help of blinds, we cut the heat. And the very interesting thing is we just tilted the whole structure, the roof towards south, mm -hmm. so to minimize the heat gain. To the north, on the north side, we have given the big fenestrations to have the great view there. So in this way, also we have you know cut down the heat gain. And also we did very more interesting thing. We have surrounded the water at the glass lounge with the water body. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. And the air which surpasses it just cools down the um, environment. There. I mean, in the summer yes, area, yes, yes, because yes, it's yes, the yes, glass yes. lounge, so you need right. to have some kind of. So even that water body adds to the aesthetic as well as it have the purpose of cooling down the. It's beautiful know, also, and yeah. in technical when it comes to weather conditions, so it's beneficial for absolutely, that. Absolutely, well. absolutely, Mac. Perfect, Arun. Arun, we would love to know from you about Devam because there's so much we've heard about it and especially the Calvilinear facade. So what is that? What is the concept behind it? That Calvilinear shape uh, is according to the context uh, mm -hmm. of the surroundings only. So uh, what we designed, because the site was facing, mm -hmm. uh, site is facing uh, towards the left is the park and towards the right is a commercial building. So what we did, we designed two balconies there, one on the upper ground floor and another one is on the first floor. So we uh, designed a block there mm -hmm. and then we scooped out the curvilinear shape from there. And after having uh, cut that part, we got uh, like a, a very inviting entrance mm -hmm. towards the left. And uh, uh, also we got a very wide view of the park there, which is across the road. And uh, uh, towards the right, we didn't even touch it because we want to intercept the view mm -hmm. of the commercial building that side. So that's why we, you know, got that coming. This was the shape. concept, basically. Yes, the double heighted, triple heighted walls. Even there, you can find those shapes. Yeah, even the bedrooms, everywhere. Even the, even the detailing of the lights, the chandeliers. Even those are forming that. Uh, those are the still in the same uh, like fluid shape and capillary shapes. Yeah. So that, the detailing, that was the yeah, the detailing is to be, uh, you know, has uh, we did the detailing till that uh, point. Wonderful. Yeah. So one more interesting fact about green space within the house, was that a client preference or is that your USP with every project you do or you know responsible for this design integration? Yeah, Mac, as I told you earlier, I'm a nature lover. I just try to give the green spaces and the landscape area within and outside the building. And the beauty of the green space is you never get bored of it. Absolutely. You see the beautiful plant, beautiful I flowers, agree. and it keeps on changing in season to season. Right. So, uh, you know, you get the newness and, you know, you enjoy uh, having that. So, Arun, talking about obviously the surroundings, the nature, how important lighting for you is and uh, what do you prefer most, artificial light or the natural one? The natural light is a very, very important element in the design. I just make sure to have, uh, you know, uh, rather I cherish to give that uh, natural light in each and every corner of the house. And there's no need of artificial lighting until the dusk. Sunlight gives you the feeling of warmth and positivity. And at the same time, the artificial lighting also plays very vital role, you know, to brighten up the interiors and to give that, uh, uh, you know, the distinctive look. Right. So that's also, you know, very, very important. I don't, I totally believe that you know, many of the new generation budding artists, you know, who wanted to be in the architecture field, they look up to you. So anything you would like to convey to them, any any advices would you like to convey to all the people, all the young generation who are like looking up to you? I will just advise the young bright minds to uh, to do the, uh, whatever they're doing, to do the, do the things unique. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they should be responsible to the environment and the surroundings. Absolutely. This coming again from a nature lover. Yes, yes. Because yes. you're so particular about environmental, uh, you know, things. And so any anyone uh, who's your inspiration or who you look up to? I really uh, get inspiration from the work of Lee Kobizer. So he did the amazing work and his work are really, really unique and very subtle. Mm -hmm. Even now, it's, they are awe inspiring. You just look it's, at them and you get yeah, awesome. yes, 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 yes. And you just keep looking at them. And today, even after decades, uh, when the structures have been made, even now they are timeless. You know, they look timeless. So it's this amazing concept and so subtle. So subtle, absolutely. Yeah. So now, Arun, we move to a very interesting part of uh, the session. And this is called a rapid fire. If you wish, you can even uh, give the answer in one word. If you wish to elaborate, you're free to do so. Thank you. So, mountain or beaches? Mountains. Mm -hmm. Netflix? I, I'm, I'm very, I uh, know. Uh, you love mountains. Exactly. I, I love nature mountains. lover. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm nature lover. And I make sure to be there uh, twice a month. And I said. And with, which is your favorite hill station? Uh, I just go to Rishikesh and, and these areas. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm uh, what I get inspiration from this, uh, this nature. I just used to sit uh, near River Ganga and you know get the different ideas from there and uh, just try to put those things in my design. 
and i don't know i've also read that you believe that art is spiritual are yes, you spiritual yes, by yes, nature yes, yes. Person, yeah yes yes, person, yes yes fortunately you, yes I you am. do a lot of meditation yeah i do meditate wonderful yes yes i do so meditate that's why your mind is absolutely <laughs> calm and easy breezy relaxing yes, and then yes, you can yes, do yes, brainstorming yes. on your yeah. design sessions and i enjoy uh, designing you know because and and uh, what give me the kick is like when the my clients are happy and you know when i see the smile absolutely. on their faces satisfaction and after a few years they call me that we still are enjoying this place and this is such a low maintenance house Something like that. So uh, that gives me a kick to that. Beautiful. Okay. So Netflix or cinema? Cinema. Mm-hmm. What was the most interesting thing you loved doing it during the lockdown? I just um, enjoyed reading books and spending time with my family. So Wonderful. what what I don't generally get. So I really uh, love to love to spend time with my family. You prefer dressing up in formals or casual? Casuals. Are you a social butterfly or absolutely anti-social? Uh, no, no, a, a bit between that actually, not very social. Balanced. Yeah, balanced. Yes. yes okay, yes. neutral. Know, yes. Which country would you like to visit once this pandemic is absolutely over? UK, Australia, or you would like to explore your native country, India? Yes, India. Morning person or no morning person? Morning person. Morning absolutely. person. Absolutely. It was an interesting rapid fire. Great. Thank you so much for this. With this, we come to an end to this chat trap. Before we wrap up, we have director A Class Marble, Mr. Rajesh Pandari, joining us in. Thank you so much for joining us in. We hope that you loved this chat trap. On behalf of the entire team, I am Mahek Dhawan signing off.